So let's talk about this Sunjo Tiller Cultivator. Overall, I like it. It's lightweight. It's easy to use. It doesn't use gas, which is kind of like a plus and a negative. Because since it doesn't use gas, that means it uses electricity. And by using electricity, you have to use extension cords. And extension cords can be hard to use around the yard. So the very first use, I put some nice little cuts in the cord. And you just got to pay a little bit more attention, and I will do so. So let's do a rundown on it. It's lightweight. It's easy to use. That is a definite plus. It does struggle in some areas. You cannot, I do not recommend using it in tall grass. I did that. Caused a bit of a problem. Hard to clean out the tines. Tines are very hard to clean out. It took me 10 minutes to get it out. Easy to assemble. And what we have here is Sun Joe. Tiller and Cultivator. Tiller and Cultivator. Yeah. My dad is going to open the box with me. My son and I, we put it together in about 14 minutes. Very nice, easy to put together. You see my son spinning the knobs on and off. It only came with four knobs. One, two, three, four. Spins on and off easy. The button right here, you push this button in with your thumb and then you squeeze the trigger. It's very responsive. Every time you hit that button, it goes like it's supposed to. Uh, the tines dig very well. I used it for a little bit. If you look, you got a little bit of paint scuffed off of the tines. But other than that, we got this that digs up a hole yep. and puts the seeds in. Yeah. Uh, no seed. This thing powered right through. If you look at that, I did all of that not tired but when you get out to that area out there it was a lot of work When I do reviews, I do my reviews based on how well something works. And I'm going to wrap this review up by saying, so I spent less than $110 on that thing. Normally, whenever I go in and rent a tiller, which I had to rent a tiller for that project over there, it cost me a good bit. I spent about $100 to rent it for two days. Now, I own this thing for $100. Now, there are some downsides to owning this thing. One, I got to find a place to store it. That's the downside, but it's okay. I got somewhere to store it. I put it in the shed. All right, the second thing is, it uses a cord. I don't like that. But what I do like about it is, I have all these other gas devices and eventually the carburetors or something goes wrong with them and they need to be fixed. And they're more expensive. This is not expensive at all. $110, it's a good deal. Now, let's talk about how well it works. Well, as you saw when I did the flower beds, the thing works amazing. It works amazing on flower beds. Something that's already been pre-dug, it works great for. No effort, no anything. It's just amazing in flower beds. I loved it. I'm gonna use it on my flower beds probably a couple times a month just to keep them fresh and turned over. Instead of mulching, I'm gonna till them from now on, save myself some money. I like it and it'll keep my flower beds cleaned out and looking neat. I'll go back and touch up on those later. But for this right here, is it made for doing stuff like this? Well, that's a tough one. I got all of that left to do. 
And that thing right there is going to take me days to get all of that done. But what I will tell you is using that thing for as light as it is and as powerful it is as it is. Even though it took me forever to do that area right there, it didn't feel like a lot of work. I just got tired of standing there doing the same area. But do I think that that thing is going to be capable of doing all of this? Yes, but this is going to take me weeks. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go and get some HDX weed, weed and grass killer and I'm going to spray the whole area and I'm going to let the weed killer kill it because it's not time for me to plant yet. I don't know how long before the first frost, but I got time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray this area with weed killer. I'm gonna give it a couple weeks to kill it. Then I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna scuff up the surface with this because it doesn't have to be down to dirt. It just has to be scuffed up at the surface. So I'm gonna scuff the surface of it up and then I'm gonna plant the seeds in about three to four weeks from now. But how do I feel about this sun gel? I feel the sun gel was pretty amazing for the price. And as you saw, even my son, my seven year old could pick it up. This thing did what it needed to do. I'm happy. I would keep going, but I just wanted to shoot this video because the things that I want to shoot videos on are piling up in my life. And this thing was great. So that's my review of the Sun Joe. There it is right there.